A new super realistic text-to-speech AI has just dropped. It's called Dia 1.6b by Nari Labs, and it claims to be more natural than existing tools like Eleven Labs and Sesame. Let's check out their demos and then test it ourselves. First, let's hear their official demos. Here's a conversation between two speakers. Dia is an open weights text to dialogue model. You get full control over scripts and voices. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Try it now on GitHub or Hugging Face. Let's compare this with 11 Labs and Sesame using the same transcript. Dia is an open weights text to dialogue model. You get full control over scripts and voices. Wow, amazing. Uh -huh. Try it now on GitHub or Hugging Face. Dia is an open weight um, text to dialogue model. You get full control over scripts and voices. Wow, amazing. Uh -huh. Try it now on GitHub or Hugging Face. You can hear how Dia handles the laughter more naturally, while Eleven Labs sounds robotic and Sesame's laugh feels forced. Here's another demo with casual conversation. Hey, how are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. What about you? I'm great, so happy to be speaking to you. Me too. This is some cool stuff, huh? Yeah, I have been reading more about speech generation. Yeah. And it really seems like context is important. Definitely. Hey, how are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. What about you? I'm great. So happy to be speaking to you. Me too. This is some cool stuff. Huh? Yeah, I have been reading more about speech generation. Yeah. And it really seems like context is important. Definitely. Hey, how are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. What about you? I'm great, so happy to be speaking to you. Me too, this is some cool stuff, huh? Yeah, I've been reading more about speech generation. Yeah. And it really seems like context is important. Definitely. The natural pauses and intonation are impressive. Let's hear how it handles more challenging content like coughs and sniffs. Hey there. <coughs> Why did you just sniff? <clears throat> Why did you just clear your throat? <laughs> Why did you just laugh? Nicely done. They also show how well it performs with rap lyrics. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti. He's nervous, but on the surface, he looks calm and ready. To drop bombs, but he keeps on forgetting. What he wrote down, the whole crowd goes so loud. He opens his mouth, but the words won't come out. He's choking how? Everybody's joking now. He's choking. Now let's test it ourselves using their hugging face space. First, I'll try their default voices with the exact same prompt from their demo. Daya is an open weights text to dialogue model. You get full control over scripts and voices. Wow, amazing. <laughs> try it now on GitHub or hugging. Hmm, that's not quite as impressive as their official demo. The voices sound more robotic and less natural than what they showcased. Next, let's see if it can clone my voice. I'll upload a voice clip of mine. If you want to explore more AI voice tools, I've got two amazing videos right here that dive deep into other text-to-speech solutions. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and hit that subscribe button for more AI tools and news about the future of technology. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. For the text input, I'll use Today we're testing this incredible new AI text-to-speech model. The results might surprise you. Let's generate the audio. The results might surprise you! The results might surprise you! Yikes! That's really surprising. It can't even generate the audio properly. Let me try again. The results might surprise you! Still no luck. It's either cutting off halfway through or producing garbled audio that sounds nothing like my voice. I've tried several times with different settings, but I'm not getting anything close to the quality shown in their demos. This is quite disappointing given how impressive their example sounded. After testing Dia, I have to say I'm not nearly as impressed as their demo suggested. While their pre-made examples sound great, the real-world performance on the Hugging Face demo is inconsistent at best. Currently, it doesn't seem to match the quality of Sesame or other leading text-to-speech tools like Eleven Labs. If you want to try Dia yourself, you'll need a CUDA GPU with around 10GB VRAM, though they mention CPU support is coming soon. Everything is available under the Apache 2 license and I'll link to their GitHub repository in the description below.
What do you think about these results? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more AI news and updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.